So what do you, you're impressed that food can come out of a machine hot? Hot food, you press a button, you just, it's like a real vending machine that you would get chips from, uh -huh. but instead it's like all these burgers, and they taste disgusting, but the novelty value, it's truly awesome. You just press a button, it's hot. Okay, Maeve, Maeve, Maeve. You have to see one of these to truly. Maeve, Emily and I study the birth, life, and death of the universe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I ask you a question about awe, and you tell me a machine that heats a nasty hamburger <laughs> leaves you in a state of awe. Honestly, you talk about stupefaction, you should see me standing in front of one of those machines. First of all, it's like this, the, the choice, you can get cheeseburger, regular hamburger, pickle, no pickle. <laughs> All these things. Then you just put in, you just put in your, they're so cheap as well, a dollar. And then you just press a button and it, what it, whichever one, often they just get jammed at the end, but you keep going and eventually you'll get a kind of a flattened burger out of a machine. You don't have to talk to anyone. No one needs to know you're eating a burger. You okay. can go for a second lunch after. Okay, I, I'm, I'm a little older than you, but when I was growing up, yeah. people were awed by the fact that we walked on the moon. Yeah, no, so, that, yeah, that's so, so I heard that spectacular, happens. but I mean... But! No, there's no but down. in that sentence! No. Back on the ground! No. No. <laughs> Back in the We're ground, you're But hungry. it's not a vending machine! <laughs> <laughs> we need to do it again! That's the thing, is that what, we, what? Didn't, Emily, we didn't live so through this. Are you post-Apollo or pre-Apollo? Post-Apollo. Post-Apollo post birth. Post-Apollo. Okay. And that's a thing. Like, we, we have... Why should we believe it? Frankly, do it again. That's what I, I want to do it again. I want to look at the moon while people are walking on the moon. People, not just not just white dudes, but people. <laughs> Send them up there. I, one of my favorite things right now to do, and you need technology to do this, um, is to know when the space station is going overhead. Mm -hmm. You can get like an app on your phone. Where's the space station? Oh, or yeah. you can, I use you know, all NASA time. websites. Yeah, it's amazing. You see a little. You know, it's hard. You sit there. Wait, and wait, you're just like, to be clear, oh. it's not when the space station is overhead. It's when it's overhead when it's and visible. Visible, yeah. So it's got to be overhead oh. during twilight. Yeah. Where you are in darkness, but it is high up enough so that it is still receiving sunlight, reflecting it down to you. Yeah. And Continue. it's different for different places on Earth. So I did this the other day, and we watch it. You know, first you're sitting there and you're like, oh, I feel kind of like an idiot. Like I'm on my mm -hmm. front stoop, you know, like staring there waiting for you know, something, Santa Claus or something like that. But then you see it, it's a really bright thing and it starts to move and you're like, there's people up there mm -hmm. right now having coffee. It's amazing. And this one in particular, it was uh, maybe 10.30 at night or so and it went away. It went like, it went high up above and then it was a bright, it was bright and then it was just gone. Yeah, it would enter And I thought shadow. about it. Yeah, yeah, I was like, that was sunset. Yeah. I was just waving it at astronauts on the space station as they were experiencing sunset. <laughs> it was just, it was so and we See, can do this. That's a, Maeve, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> okay. But burgers are Maeve. pretty good too, in fairness. Maeve, Maeve, <laughs> do we uh, can, 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 here, can, Maeve. Okay. You should have asked Emily first. <laughs> <laughs>